So a lot of stuff's been going on in my life lately. A lot of chaos, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of external things that are out of my control. And I've really let it affect me. You know, a lot of this st you know, probably stemmed from a, a conversation I had with Dan Waldschmidt. Yesterday morning we had coffee for like two and a half hours and talking through some of the stuff that I've been dealing with. Um, you know, some of Dan's advice to me was, man, you got a lot of stuff that's just out of your control and that just is what it is. Why don't you set a crazy, audacious, scary goal that you can control, but something that you know to you right now seems impossible. So it's so easy, like last night, flight canceled, plans all changed, had to rearrange everything for this week. It's so easy to get frustrated by these things that are out of your control. Um, or you can just stay level-headed and think of the positive in every situation. And just got a good workout in this morning at the gym here in Greenville. And uh, gonna make it a great day. Head out uh, tonight instead of last night. Get everything done that I needed to get done. And hey, it's not the end of the world. So I challenge you guys, don't let little things frustrate you. Don't let, let little things get you. Don't let little things steal your capacity. Just do what you gotta do. A lot of what people try to do is they try to control the things that they can't control. And that's where the frustration, that's where the depression, that's where the anxiety, because they're so focused on the things that are out of their control, instead of just focusing on like, what can I do today to get better? And then just go do that and, and understand that if you focus on the things that you can control, then all the other stuff that you can't control will fall into place. And most people just never get there mentally. But it's so much, it's mental uh, so much to me. Uh, and, and starting that process of belief that you know, I'm not a failure, that I am uh, worthy of, of having you know, this extraordinary life. And then ultimately it takes putting in work um, because you can work yourself out of any situation. I fully, fully believe that. And, and whether that work may be just literally getting out of the bed. That's right. Um, it could be one having a conversation with, a, with somebody. It could be talking to somebody. That's one thing that I mentioned is that the majority of the time when you're in that dark place, you can't get out of it alone. It's an important thing for people to understand that it's normal. Yeah. Um, because I think that's where a lot of the prolonged stages of uncertainty and anxiety comes from when people feel like something's wrong with me. Yeah. Like I went through this, this happened, created anxiety, created fear, created uncertainty. I don't know what to do. I'm the only one that's ever dealt with this or something's wrong with me for feeling this way or right. I'm inadequate because I'm feeling this way. Right. It's important for people to know that the highest level of performers in the world have dealt with the exact same yep. thing.